Hello everyone. Welcome to Autodesk Alias Design from the beginning. Recently we've put out a product trial of Autodesk Alias Design for a 30-day download. It's available in English 32-bit, English 64-bit Windows, and the Mac OS X. Uh, with this release I thought it would be really good to do um, a series on foundational principles of Autodesk Alias Design. I've been teaching Autodesk Alias Design for many years and um, have taught many people and come up with some pretty good ways to help people get a good foundation. Uh, there are probably, like myself, a lot of people out there who've always wanted to learn Alias or um, just thought it was too difficult. So I thought it would be nice to have this series and when the product first starts there's a basic set of videos that come up that you can use right out of the box but I thought it'd be nice to have somebody talking and some videos to follow along those videos would be available in, at the manufacturing community site as well as autodesk.aliasdesign.com so let's jump into the product when you first launch Alias Design what you're going to see is you'll have what we have is a shelf on the left you'll have the main alias design window and the control panel on the right now we're going to take a couple minutes here to arrange our interface so that it's a little bit more comfortable for learning um, have the least amount of icons on our screen so things can be comfortable so what we're going to do is we're going to go to windows and palette I'm going to slide my palette over here. The palette can be defined as your toolbox of tools. Your shelf can be defined as your workbench that you put your tools on. Um, if you're working on a project and it required a Phillips screwdriver, you would go into your toolbox, like we're going into transform here, and you would pick, for example, move, or we would pick the proper tool to to do the proper uh, function we we're doing at that time. So in order to arrange a screen, what we do is go to Preferences and Interface, and you'll see Palette Shelves Layout. Now, the palette position we can dock on the left, the shelf position we'd like to dock on the bottom. Notice this Keep Alias Window Size. If you have that picked, it will keep your current size that you have on your screen of what um, the Autodesk Alias Design interface currently looks like. If it's not, it will put the main window full screen. So we'll do this. We'll hit Go. Now, you'll notice that my shelves kind of disappeared below my recording area right now. What I'm going to do is just drag up the bottom so you guys can see the palette really easily. We'll stretch this down, and I'm doing this just so that you guys can easily see everything right now. Okay, so you can see we have our palette down here. I'm just slide that up and slide that down. Okay, so we have our shelves and we have our palette here. You also notice that we have our perspective window, and you have three orthographic windows. Now also go to Windows Control Panel and then you can see that currently we got some gaps around our windows so we'll just go to Layouts, All Windows and just hit All Windows and it will fill in those spaces real quick. Now what we want to do is we want to start getting our shelves oriented because what we're going to do is we're only going to concentrate one step at a time on the tools that we're going to use. So on the shelves, you grab your middle mouse button, just drag it to the trash bin. I'm just going to say don't show again. We're just going to drag these right like this. I'm using my middle mouse button, dragging right to the trash. So this is empty. Now what I'll do is I'll say new shelf and let's call our first shelf underscore pick. 
Now I put the underscore in there because I already have one up here and we'll hit OK. So now I can drag from my shelf. In fact, I'm going to drag pick nothing and I'm going to grab pick object and put those in my shelf. These are the two most important commands that you guys will use in Autodesk Alias Design. So I'm going to end this session with this part, come back for part two where we'll start getting more into the interface.